This is a general reading for an Aries business. This is a reading specifically for a business. If you have a business idea that you're thinking about or that you're working on or that has already started, this is for you if you are an Aries or can own a business. However, this is a general reading. If you would like a reading specific to your business, you may book a private reading for subscribe to my monthly subscription where I, I give guidance to business owners and entrepreneurs monthly guidance and leadership spiritual advice as it pertains to their business so again this is for general reading for an Aries with the business okay let's see what do we have here we have ten of wands we have clean king of swords we have the page of pentacles we have overall energy temperance card the four of pentacles interesting so while i clarify this message and um i'm gonna clarify this message and get some oracle guidance while i do that watch this quick video and i'll be right back I've manifested over $200,000 so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides that give me strategy, they help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with spirit to help you manifest your goals as well. If you want to manifest a new job, if you want to manifest a new car if you want to manifest more money if you want to manifest more life a divine partner a baby whatever it is that you are yearning for allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals i'm looking for 33 people to help and if you feel like you're one of those 33 people hit the link below thank you good luck and peace What's up, God? What's up, Aries? So, your reading starts with the Ten of Wands. This is attuning to your need. It's time for you to carry the extra burdens required for you to manifest and grow your business. That can, this could mean that you have a job, you have to keep, you have kids, you have um, school, whatever it is that you also have in the background, it's not a time to quit those things. It's a time for you to figure out a balanced approach a balanced way for you to make money with balance in your life and also manifest your business you have to carry this is a time for you to focus on your vision and carry those extra burdens needed for you to bring in money and for you to grow your business at the same time it could be it, this could mean that your business is in a biz, beginning stage and maybe you're not bringing in money yet so you have to do other things to bring in the money as well so with the bottom of the deck energy, coupled with the Ten of Wands, you have the Temperance card and you have the Four of Pentacles. You, he's holding on, but this is you holding on to your vision, but also holding on to your coins, you're saving money, you're providing balance in your life and your finances. Because you have so much going on, you have to find a way to balance it. Um, and that also attunes to the second card, which is the King of Swords. You provide balance in your life by planning it. So since you have so many burdens that you're carrying and you need the money and you need to provide balance in your finances and save the money towards so you can put that towards your goals and it can also help you as well and you provide balance in your life and in your schedule because you have so many things going on. You have to make clear objectives. Make a clear plan and make clear objectives. This is two aspects to this. You make this clear plan and clear objectives so you can know that exactly what you're working towards, but you also make a clear plan and clear objectives and goals so you can know what you're working towards and so that you can put that and you know and manifest and put that out in the universe so that spirit guides and guys can be working with you to manifest your goals and your dreams and your and grow your business. So be very clear exactly uh, make plan out your day 
I have this sheet that I am um, working towards. I need to finish it today. Um, what is a successful day? So I write down what it means to have a successful day. And so every day that I do these things on this sheet, that's a successful day to me. So I have to provide. Um, I want a successful day in health. I'm trying to lose weight and, you know, live fit. A successful day in business, number one. A successful day in whatever so I write all these things down I started with business so I just want to make sure every day I'm manifesting the business that I want to manifest and every day I'm manifesting the help that I want to manifest practically and spiritually because I know my spirit guides are working with me and the law of attraction is working with me it may require for you to do the same make some clear objectives towards your goals make some clear um, practical objectives and spiritual objectives put it on the universe and know exactly what you're working for and why and hold on to your vision and and work diligently towards it you know work diligent in everything that you do yes yes I'll be out there in a minute Okay. work diligently towards your goals your dreams your business everything that you're doing it's not a time to quit but it's a time for you to work hard but provide that balance in your life as well do you have a page of Pinnacles this is, again, stability. This is stability. This is focus. This is vision. This is hard work. But it's consistency. So it may also require for you to be consistent. Maybe have lacked consistency in the past because you have so much going on. But once you find that balance, once you plan that schedule, once you plan what that successful day is for you, and you're consistent towards it, and you're working, and you're grounded, and you're working towards your goals practically and spiritually, it's inevitable for you to have success. The oracle cards you got was hold your vision, was have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon, that is so beautiful, and hold your vision. You, you know what you're doing this for. Remember what you're doing this for and have faith that it's that spirit gods, that the universe, that you are all working together towards the manifestation of your business, the manifestation of growth in your life, the manifestation of abundance. Whatever it is that you're working towards, hold on to it in your mind, hold on to it in your plans and work towards it every day. So what, whatever Aries this is for. It's, you and Aries, you can do it. Aries can do all things. I believe in Aries and fire signs because you guys have the passion and the energy. Don't burn out though. Find balance. Don't allow yourself to, you know, put it all in and then burn out. Find balance in your schedule. Find balance in your finances. Save. Um, save. Put it towards your business. Grow your business. To carry these extra burdens until you're in a position where you can let some of them go. But right now, it's time for you to work. Carry those extra burdens so that you can manifest and grow your business. Okay, I hope this helps. Again, my name is Ashley and I wish you love and light. If you would like a private reading and um, for more details into your situation, I have a subscription program for those who are trying to manifest in business and would like spiritual guidance every every two weeks. And I also have private readings. So if you want a reading for your business, hit me up. I'll help you. Peace.